Well, the Baltimore Rock Opera Society takes a Halloween plunge at the historic North Avenue Market. We're live with Patrick Stasso, uh, Executive Director of the Baltimore Rock Opera Society, and Abby Becker, Executive Director of the Station North Arts District, gearing up for the final two haunting performances <laughs> of Ceremony of the Faceless. Good morning. Good morning. morning. How's it going? Great. So we're excited to be talking to you about this. Patrick, we'll start with you. For those not familiar, tell us about the Baltimore Rock Opera Society. Yeah, the Baltimore Rock Opera Society, we're a community of artists that write, produce, and perform live original rock theater here in Baltimore. And so what can people expect from these performances coming up? Uh, well, if you haven't had a ticket already, um, <laughs> unfortunately you're going to have to enjoy it uh, in your imagination. Uh, we <laughs> have sold out our final two shows on Halloween, uh, but those who are attending the show uh, can expect a real spooky vibe, uh, very Halloween-y, um, nothing to jump scare, uh, but just a, a very frightening um, ritualistic performance. Lots of dance, lots of heavy metal. Okay, well now you mentioned that this particular show is sold out, so if folks, of course, don't get to this one, how can they find you? How can they get involved? Maybe see you an upcoming um, show in the spring? Absolutely. Our next performance is called Lempira. It's going to be a bilingual performance, English and Spanish, that's going to be taking place in May 2025. Uh, we don't have a venue yet, uh, which is a little bit of the beauty of our partnership here with Central Baltimore Partnership 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 uh, <laughs> uh, is that um, yeah we don't have a location for it yet but you can find us online at Baltimore rock or our socials be more rock opera on Instagram Facebook so on and so forth um, you can get involved through volunteering uh, becoming a patron just coming to our shows and Abby there's so much happening in the station North Arts District so how does all of this sort of fit into that vision so the Station North Arts District, um, we are right here on North Avenue and um, our uh, parent organization, the Central Baltimore Partnership, is working with a new uh, developer, uh, 22 Lanes, to completely do a historic restoration of the North historic North Avenue market where we are today. And these development projects sometimes take years for the financing and the plans to come together um, and while that was happening we really couldn't afford for this building to go dark so we're working with a whole slew of artists including the mob town ballroom the club car and for this month especially for halloween the baltimore rock opera society to transform the space and give people a great reason to come down and experience station north and Abby, to that point, you mentioned the uh, transformation. There's a $30 million overhaul going on soon. And normally a building like this would be vacant. So, you know, the vision, you know, how big are you hoping to take this? Big. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so the, <laughs> the project was lucky to receive uh, really um, the largest uh, historic tax credits award. So, um, the idea is that the, this market will be restored to its full glory and transformed into a creative space for artists and people to enjoy. Wow, well that sounds great. We're looking forward to it. If we don't see you in the fall, we'll hope to see you in the spring. Wonderful. Absolutely, thanks. Thank you guys.